Hi folks, Annie Patterson here. I just had a couple tips for you about hanging out with your kids. I know some of us are going pretty nuts trying to figure out how to get our work schedule done while the kids are running around the house. Um, it's great to tire them out. So going outside, of course, is fantastic. But if you have to stay inside, here's some ideas for you. One is a game that I used to teach uh, third graders when I was teaching music. You basically need something that you can make a beat on. It can be anything. I happen to have a djembe here from Africa. So the beat would be the steady beat like that. And you would be in charge of doing that. You line the kids up at one end of the room and you say to them, you know, get a distance apart from each other. They can't touch each other during this game. Some people call this statues in place. Um, I just think it's a fun idea to do anything, not just statues. You can come up with the names of all kinds of machines. So what I would do is have the kids stay at one end of the room and they would have to walk to the beat across the room. But as soon as I lift my hand off and I stop the beat, that's when you start the game by saying, be a blank, like refrigerator, blender, um, hair dryer, anything that, you know, is familiar to them, toaster. And the kids have to act out being the refrigerator, whatever that means. Now, if it's indoor, they need to use their indoor voices and they need to control their space. So one way to start out this game is everybody sit on the floor and you just say, this is my space, this is my space, this is my space, this is my space, this is my space. It just gets the beat going. This is my space, this is my space, and the kids get to establish what their space is. All right, now it's time to stand up in their little hula hoop area kind of space. So you start the beat, and the kids have to walk slow to the beat. They might make it all the way across the room if your living room is small. But if you happen to have a small room, they can turn around and walk back. And as soon as you stop the beat, refrigerator. Everybody has to stand there and figure out what their version of refrigerator is. And then they have to, then you say, freeze. And they have to freeze as a refrigerator, okay? Do we understand? Do I have to act this out? I'll act it out. Um, pretend I'm walking. No voice, no talking, just walking. Refrigerator. Freeze. And then the beat starts again is a signal to walk. And you can stop being a refrigerator now. Okay. And we'll do it again. Blender. Stop. Freeze. And they freeze in place as a blender, whatever that means, and then move on. Obviously, you don't have to do all the explanation while you're playing this game. And let me tell you, this is fun. If you get some of the older kids to start calling out the different kinds of things that people can be. You can say statue, you can say sofa, you know, whatever is on their minds and be creative with that one. So I hope that you all take this idea and make it your own. You can visit more of our thoughts about things to do um, and how to engage your kids and get a break, basically. So please visit our website, www.riseupandsing. This is Annie Patterson saying, stay safe.